Hello and welcome, my name is Romney from Global Self Publishing. Now in this video, what I'm going to do is show you how you can use both Publisher Rocket and KDE Spy together to be quite a powerful niche research tool. Now when you're conducting your niche research for Amazon KDP, it's important that you don't just rely on one tool. You probably need to get data from both sets of tools to be able to make an informed decision. So I'm going to give you an example of doing some niche research and how you can use both these tools uh, to get the best results. Now also remember, if you purchase Publisher Rocket, or KD Spy, you'll get one of my best-selling courses absolutely for free. Now, it's my way of thanking you for using my affiliate link. So make sure you check out the description below because we publish a rocket, you get my publishing accelerator course, my 12-hour course, and but with KD Spy, you get my niche research mastery course. So check out both those in the description and thank you very much for your support with that. Let's get into the video right now. So ensure you have Publisher Rocket ready to go, which is this one right here, and you also have KD Spy, which I've uh, got up here on my icon. So what we need to do, I usually use Incognito to do my niche research. Now there's a lot of other elements of niche research that you can reflect back on in a few other videos I've created. But for this one, I really want to show you how I use both Publisher Rocket and KD Spy for the research I do. Now, I generally create children's books, but you can use this technique for any kinds of books, whether they're low content book, high content books, um, mid-range content books, whatever you want to. So what I'm going to do is just go through and I will choose children's books right here. Now you might like to, to scroll through the best-selling books, have a look if there's any common themes that are running. You might be able to take some notes about niche research uh, and main keywords that are being used right now. But let's skip that for the moment. I'm just going to go straight to children's books to that um, particular category. Then what you're left with is another whole list of categories, which you can then go into a little bit deeper. Again, you might like to look at what might be trending right now. Is it to do with kindergarten? Is it to do with dinosaurs? Is it to do with uh, no, first grade just here? You might like to do something like that. So maybe let's focus on a book about first grade or here I come. So this is obviously a book about attending primary school. But let's have a look and we'll see what this book provides us so we can do some more niche research. So we go down here, just have a look, ranking at 106. So it's doing really, really well. You can also see the reviews. You can see how it's written. So I would normally have a look at these main keywords here. So first grade, here I come. So I might even copy that and I might start with Publisher Rocket just to look at the title and maybe get some initial keywords. So I might plug that in and let's have a look and see how this comes up. So there's the main keywords here that might be used. I'll just do a search here. And what we can do is find out the Amazon searches, the competitive score, and we can also see the average pages. Now, what I might also like to do is have another word, say, First, just as a general, very general keyword, you might like to go here. And then what this might do is first grade book about animals, um, first grade books for reading, first grade book for girls. So you can have a look at a few of these as well, which might give you additional ideas. First grade books for summer. So let's have a look at a few of these. And what I tend to find is that this will give me some additional ideas to write down and it might be give me some inspiration to create some other books. So I like to just look through here, books for first grade. So that's a really good keyword, books for first grade. I might even copy that one and we'll do another search as well. So let's go books for first grade. So we go through and what I like to do is to click these here. Let's find out how these are tracking. We've got some really high searches, books for first grade, book for first graders. So there's some really good keywords. You can see how high they are right here. Average monthly earnings, 17,000. Moderately competitive. This one here, first 
upgrade here I come book so that's you I, I wouldn't recommend using that main keyword because that's the title of a book but what we're looking for a main keywords you could look at so let's go up here let's try books for first graders so what I would do with publisher rocket is go here we would then be able to see out, see through these and find out what books are doing well, the age of the book. So this will give us that information. We can scroll down. There's the book that we saw before. What I can also do is see the categories. And when we go to the categories, we can also see the main keywords that are being used. So Publisher Rocket gives you a great opportunity to use some keywords in here. So we might go keywords here. We can see family, new experiences, growing up, facts of life, siblings, parents, adjustments, moving, starting school. These are all good keywords that you might like to use for your backend keywords or keywords within your title, your subtitle. And we can also go to insights. So it's going trending down at the moment, but that's okay. We can also go to this one here because this is school life, books, children's books, grey facts of life, friendship, social skills and school life. And look at the insights. Again, going down, category is relatively flat. Expect high competition, but also high profit in the top ranking books. We can also determine the publisher and the number of percentage of publishers in this particular category. So you might find after this niche research that you might dismiss this particular um, category, this particular book type, you might find it's too competitive. So what we could do is also do a check under KD Spy. So we go back, let's go back here, have a look here, and we're going to go back and we're going to have um, we're going to do a quick little search, go back to Publisher Rocket, which I just dropped off, and I can put in, say, first grade. You can see this search here. So, look, monthly earnings 343, but look at some of these other ones. They're quite competitive. Maybe even do kids activity books first grade. Let's just do an example here. So, we're going to copy that. We're going to go back to Amazon. We're going to put this in here. And we can put that there. We can search this, and we can see it's 30,000 results. So, way too many. I really probably wouldn't go into this area at all. So, I think that it's going to be just too competitive just by looking at these results. But we can just do a quick little search by KD Spy, and you can see the average sales rank, which is quite incredible. It's still going at the moment, but what we're looking for are green and even a yellow competitive light a red is a bit of a red flag for me and what I'd normally do is do click it there and I get rid of the first couple you can see the average sales rank across these 20 results is 15,000 so they're obviously very very popular and you can also do uh, the word cloud which will give you some information about the keywords that are in the title and subtitle as top 20 books as well uh, so the analysis will also tell you the pages within those top 20 books is the keyword in the title, KWT, is the keyword in the description, the rating, the reviews, and the sales rank. So this is how I'm using KD Spy in, in, um, in partnership with Publisher Rocket to give me some details about keywords. I can then plug them into Amazon and I can then test them out here. But I'm not overly impressed with what I can do with that. So I'm going to go back to, we've got our children's books here. Let's go and go to Growing Up Facts of Life. Let's have a look at health. And we can then even dig down even further. Let's go personal hygiene. And you can see that this is sort of the end of the rung. But we could do a quick little look. Bestsellers in children's personal hygiene books. We could use KD Spy there. And we can also do a quick search to see what is coming up here. What we might also, also like to do is grab this keyword, children's personal hygiene, and put that into Publisher Rocket. Let's see what comes up. Now, the competition is green here. Potential is green. Popularity is uh, average. But we look at the average sales rank. It's very good. We can do a quick little filter here. We can do 
the um, we can look at the best sellers as well and that will actually take us to the best sellers in this particular area so I've already got that there uh, but it is a really good niche area if you can get it into it now one of the other things that I recommend that you do is get the AMZ suggested expander so when you're on Amazon what you can do if we're in this bestseller category here even if you write kids book about and what you can do is see how the suggestion expander will give you additional subjects or keywords that people are typing for so you've got the Amazon ones here and then you've got the other ones here so if we did plants then it would potentially give you other keywords as well depending on what it is so you can have a few different words that come up so if we did um, kids book about plant we can do a quick KD spy search we can see 43,000 it's still ticking up a little bit competition no I think it might be in the red let's just wait and see it's in the red there change this around a little bit get rid of the couple there so popularity is really good potential is really good but competition is quite high you can have a look through here find out if there's any books that you think would be suitable but again the red flag for me would be the competition not always because there might be some high competition but the books may not be very good and that could be your opportunity to be the known uh, publisher or author in that particular area so there you have the main niche research tools that I use. Publisher Rocket, KD Spy, but also ensure you get the Chrome extension of AMZ Suggestion Expander. So I hope this tutorial has really helped you to get an understanding of how you use both of these tools, Publisher Rocket and KD Spy, to do your niche research. But also remember, if you use my link, which is in the description below of this video, you will get access to uh, one of the courses, either the Publishing Accelerator, if you purchase Publisher Rocket with my link, or you'll get the Mastering Niche Research course if you purchase KD Spy with my affiliate link. So thanks very much for watching. I hope this has been beneficial for you. Make sure you give me a thumbs up or subscribe to the channel if you haven't before, and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Until then, goodbye.